Hello and welcome. I'm Gina Shakespeare. Today on the show, thanks to Spygate, Trump can purge corruption in one swoop. This story by our senior investigative reporter, Joshua Phillip. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notifications button. The United States is witnessing history as a corrupt network of deep state Korea officials has been actively working against President Donald Trump and the interests of the American people. During the 2016 election, this network, alongside politicians, Hillary Clinton's campaign and foreign government officials, helped create the false narrative that Trump colluded with Russia. The goal was first to prevent him from becoming president, and after that failed to undermine it as much as possible. These people have been the source of the creation of the fake Russia collusion narrative, unauthorized leaks and calls for impeachment. It has sowed chaos, turned Americans against one another and rallied a base of public support through disinformation and emotional agitation. The Spygate scandal involved the Obama administration using the powers of spy agencies and corrupt legal systems to surveil a political opponent in an attempt to alter the outcome of an election. The spying on the Trump campaign involved some of Obama's top officials, such as National Security Advisor Susan Rice and CIA Director John Brennan. Meanwhile, key players in the Clinton team and the Democratic National Committee were involved in creating disinformation and spreading this throughout a network in the U.S. government and in legacy news outlets. Yet these attempts have so far failed. Instead, they have gathered together all the corrupt elements in the U.S. intelligence agencies, the Justice Department, the State Department, city governments, the Senate, Congress, the judiciary, non-profits, legacy news outlets and private companies. Spygate and the Trump-Russia conspiracy it helped create exposed this full corrupt network and each person involved. It has gathered together in one place the major figures of corruption in the US government. And the number of officials involved is not small. While key officials in the Obama administration played crucial roles in instigating and executing the investigations into the Trump campaign. Officials across the government appear to have been involved. The force of corrupt elements that Trump faced was not just in the United States, as even foreign governments colluded in the Spygate scandal. Take, for example, the fact that the UK was sharing information it had gathered on the Trump campaign with members of the US Intelligence Committee as early as late 2015. It was then CIA Director Brennan who used unofficial intelligence from the UK to push the FBI to open an official investigation. It was also a former British intelligence official, Christopher Steele, who became the main proponent of the false allegations that Trump colluded with Russia, claims that have now been definitely proven false by the investigation of special counsel Robert Mueller. And it was Australia's highest ranking diplomat in the UK, Alexander Downer, who propelled the claim that low-level Trump Trump campaign advisor George Papadopoulos told him that he had knowledge about the fact that Russia had Hillary Clinton's emails, something Papadopoulos has denied himself. Notably, Downer had played a key role in 2006 to approve a $25 million donation by Australia to the Clinton Foundation, which was one of the largest in the foundation's history. Yet the conspiracy that was acted out has, in effect, gathered all these corrupt individuals who dared to rig an election, tarnish a presidency and mislead a nation, and has placed them together in a single scandal to be exposed at once. Thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Declassified. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Until then, feel free to check out the Epoch Times website. That's theepochtimes.com for around-the-clock news updates. And be sure to leave your thoughts below. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you very soon.